Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, we're gonna be looking at the feature called the AI Storybook Studio. Now within this feature, there's gonna be two okay, features that are currently under beta testing. So you can have uh, access to these two um, sub features within the main feature of AI Storybook Studio. So you can expect this to be even more further fine tuned and refined. Now, in order to locate this particular feature, when you're starting for the first time, when you select dashboard, select create design, and then select the fast AI image designer. Once you select the fast AI image designer, uh, you will see on the header tab there, the AI sh Storybook Studio. Now, under step one, you can transform your child into the lead character, okay? So if you have an image, uh, opposed to, you know, when we went through uh, the design agents, sometimes, um, you know, uh, you couldn't use realistic human photos, essentially, within that. However, you can use, use um, you know, human realistic photos uh, or your own photos of your child using this feature. So uh, within this subcategory, okay, under step one, there's going to be two features. One's going to be idea to storybook, okay? I'm, I'm going to show you what they, that looks like so one of them is then just all you would have to do is provide an idea okay and an image and second is going to be script to storybook so how would that look so when we select idea to storybook you're going to have two options one's going to be create new story okay start with a blank canvas and one's going to be your stories now um, let's assume you're doing this for the first time we're going to go ahead and select create new story Okay, so essentially, when we're looking at this particular feature, all you're really providing is um, a reference photo. If you want, that's completely up to you. You don't have to. You can actually select a character source as an AI generated character. So you can allow artistly to actually generate the image for you. The only fields that you are essentially inputting is the story details, where it's going to ask you to provide uh, a story idea now. If you have maybe an idea of a story that you would like to create, then obviously you can come and you will select and input it here. Now you can use other apps like ChatGBT to generate stories, etc., etc., and that can even come up with a story idea based on you know category, niche, or the industry that you're looking to uh, create the book around. Now for this particular uh, example or within this tutorial, okay, I'm going to go to choose from library, and I should have a character here. Okay, now with this particular character, the moment I've entered, okay, this character, let me show you that again. Okay, the moment I entered it, I don't know if you saw that, but we have a brand new field that then popped out. Okay, now that field or the information now is photo details. Okay, so in terms of photo details, it is now going to ask you to specify the style of photo it is. Is it a human style or a cartoon style? So you've got two to choose from. Okay, for this one, it's going to be cartoon style. But here, you can see, you can actually make it a human style. Uh, and then by doing it um, or selecting the human style, you'll see there'll be additional um, additional uh, information that you can provide, i.e. the child's name, okay, the child in the reference photo, if you're using your own child, and also the costume or the clothing direction. So uh, as an example, blue sweater on top, beige uh, trousers, uh, black lace boots, and red knit hat etc etc now for this one uh, the moment I select cartoon I don't need to enter that it's already there okay so in terms of the story details okay coming up with a story idea so I've actually got a nice little idea that I've kind of created already I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there and the story idea is a child discovers a hidden door in their garden that opens at night with courage and curiosity they step through and enter a magical world where animals talk flowers glow and adventures await the child becomes the hero of the garden, helping new friends and learning that kindness unlocks even greater magic. So uh, the the title of this, okay, first of all, let's go for uh, the story type. So this kind of story type, it's going to be non-fiction. Um, let's have a look. Mystery, fantasy, fairy tale. Let's go for fairy tale, okay. A number of pages. Let's go for a nice little number of five. Dimensions, I'm going to stick uh, at uh, five by four. And... I don't know if you can see, well, you can see this, but there is an additional checkbox here, okay? It's called book details. 
Now under this, uh, you will see in brackets, it's going to say optional. So you don't have to provide it. However, if you want to make this as clean as possible and professional looking, then yes, you can enter a book title. So uh, for this book title, we're going to go ahead and enter the secret garden door and the book author. Let's go for John or John. Let's go for John Doe. Okay. And that's it. Those are the only fields that you need to enter. Now, like I uh, just to kind of reiterate, uh, if you don't have a reference photo and you just want to generate books uh, using the AI, uh, you know, uh, artistically itself using AI generated characters, you can do so. Uh, but even this. Uh, reference photo you know you, I, I, it was easily generated within artistically so you could have a prompt uh, and you could generate that all within artistically itself so you know you're kind, it's kind of it is very flexible in creating those images okay so once i've done that i'm going to go ahead and select generate now the moment we do that then it is now going to be processed and as you can see it is currently loading so what we're going to do we're going to get allow it a few moments to process and then we shall return okay so now we're in the personal design section we can see this is our reference photo and we had five uh, pages in total so uh, accompanied with the text it will be five pages of text uh, and then we'll have five images to reflect the story so we've got those beautiful graphics there now the moment you've done this in order to put this together as you're probably fully aware now if you go to my flipbooks select create new select create flipbook and make sure when you do select create flipbook you'll probably see that those images aren't here the reason being we must make sure we select the correct tab okay so just here at the top you can see ai image designer consistent character storybook and this is the one we want the ai storybook studio so whether we're going to be creating uh, you know using the story idea ability or script to story uh, we need to make sure we have activated or selected this particular button okay once we've done that create flipbook you can see uh, the checkboxes have appeared as you would imagine uh, once we select that you can see all five that are related to this particular story have now been also um, selected once we do that we select create flipbook and you can see we have the title already there we can select a voice uh, we can um, select a template upload your own or generate one okay so browse built in i'm just going to keep this nice and simple and keep it blank front cover okay we have a beautiful front cover already that has been uh, created if you want you can actually create a back cover if you want as well but we're going to keep this nice and simple uh, once you do uh, these well quite a, just a couple of steps we select generate flipbook now once that's done you can see it is now going to be in progress okay so while that's now being created let's head over back to the ai storybook studio now what we're going to do is we're going to look at script to storybook okay okay so we're going to go select script to storybook and we're going to select create new story and it will be very similar to um idea to storybook the only difference is you can actually enter your story script okay so for this one i'm going to go to choose the library um and we can actually add that reference photo again and this one let's just keep it as cartoon style and i need a script okay so uh for the script do i have one ready yes i do what we're gonna do we're just gonna bring that across and there we go it's a nice script in there and this one is called yes this one will be similar to the secret garden door before it was an idea but this is an actual script that has been built out for the same story okay dimensions can we keep it similar five by four uh book details uh we can actually put that in there that's not a problem um there we go okay and everything more or less has been done we're going to select generate so while that's off and generating you'll see we're also in the process of creating the uh flipbook for idea okay to storybook so uh, we'll give that a few moments and it'll redirect us to the personal design section and we'll go through the same motions as we did uh, for the idea to storybook uh, as now we're working on the script to story ability so we'll give that a few uh, moments and we shall return okay so we can see from the last 
section here these are the new images for the secret garden door and there's the beautiful book there the name obviously left blank so it's actually going to generate it us a name there and things like that if you do create a name and you want to remove it or you want to make edits uh don't uh just remember you can always go to the design agents uh, let me just double check design assistance uh let's have a look okay we're looking for the editor Ah, yes, I was right. Okay, so just I've missed it. So if you go to the AI design assistance, you can always always go to the photo editor, uh, choose a cover if you want to remove any text and just put it in there. And the AI will remove any text or if you want to change it, etc, etc. You can always do that. So if I come back to the personal design section, we can see this beautiful book has now been created using the second sub feature within the AI storybook studio where we actually used our own script to storybook. Okay, so if I now return to my flipbooks, you can see the secret garden there. Okay, let's have a look. But before we do that, let's go ahead and create new. Uh, creating new, we need to go to the AI Storybook Studio. And we need to create flipbook. Uh, you can see these have all been now um, selected. Not yet, they're not selected. But the moment we selected create flipbook, you can see they're now highlighted in the checkbox has now appeared so i'm gonna go ahead and select um, the very first one and any uh, linking images will also be selected and you can see it's got quite a few images that have been created because of the length of the script okay so you can imagine the longer the script the more images that will be created so i'm going to go ahead and select create flipbook it will be the same process I'm going through choose my cover and hey presto generate flipbook that's it okay so if I go to the very first one, this was the story idea. You see, and we, here we have visuals with the text and there is sounds as well, okay? So we have all of that great stuff there. Remember, you can use cartoon style images or um, human photos. If you want to put your own child in there, then obviously you can. Uh, you can put the human photo in there and have those human realistic photos. So, you know, you can make your own um, subject the hero of their own story. Um, alternatively, if you wanted to get a human photo and then convert it or stylize it into a illustration, then uh, you can also do that. So here we have the second PDF that, have, that has now been created. This was script to story. So if I'm going to go ahead and select read, let's have a look. Okay. So one summer evening, yep, fantastic. And remember this was, uh, even the script or the story was being chat GBT, so it takes no effort at all. You know, you can spend a bit more time and actually really develop the stories out. You can actually um, put more effort and really make them, you know, you could technically have a character, make a series of books uh, within, uh, you know, the theme. Okay, and there we have it. It's a beautiful story that links in uh, with the text of the AI, I, the AI will essentially generate that text as well. And remember, um, you can create um, different characters uh, as part of your story. And here's some other other ones as well. Okay. So returning back to that, this tutorial, we looked at the AI Storybook Studio, where within uh, this tutorial or within the feature of the AI Storybook Studio, we looked at two features essentially that are under a beta at the moment. So they are brand new, roll, uh, brand, uh, brand newly rolled out. I don't know if that's a word, but they are literally um, new and they have been rolled out. And essentially beta just means that it is in a beta uh, testing. Um, essentially, it's a tool that's completely brand new. It's out there. Uh, we will be refining it, making it even better. So you'll see huge improvements over time. And as you know, if there's anything that you would like, any more uh, suggestions or uh, anything we can improve, then obviously please kindly add it to uh, the official roadmap um, for artists. Because as you know, um, you know, we're on version six and we're continuously improving it. Uh, and some of those improvements or those features actually come from just suggestions uh, from our users. So it's really important. Uh, we love to get feedback and to, to make this the best it possibly can. So hopefully you've enjoyed this short tutorial and I shall see you in another video.